Hey, it's around here. In this training video, I want to educate you a little bit about how to choose the best software for you in your business. Now, this is an educational training. Before, I'm going to invite you to actually get on a free consultation with me personally to help you choose the right software. One of the perks of the .com Truth membership is that I am giving every person that is part of the membership that does not have their software figured out to actually get on a call and get a free consultation on this particular topic. There might be a survey for you to fill out before the call so I can get a bit of an idea on what it is you need, what it is you're looking for, what it is you're using, what are you looking at using and stuff like that so we can figure out the best one for you. Now, there are three key elements that I want to educate you. You got to think about your business strategy before you think about software. What I mean by that is you got to consider, number one, your marketing machine. What are the steps to take somebody from a stranger to a customer? The second part is the content delivery slash fulfillment aspect, which basically means what do you do with the customer once they pay? So they've paid. Great. Now what? How do you deliver the service or the product? Do you send them emails with the content? Do you do Zoom calls? Do you have a, a members area? Do you do a one-on-one -on -one coaching? Is there a community? All these aspects, you got to consider what those things are. And the third aspect is pricing. Now, there's a couple of aspects of pricing. Number one, what is your budget realistically? Because if you are in a situation financially where, let's say, paying $200 per month for software, is going to put you under financial stress or you can't even afford it at all, don't do it. So for example, the course you're seeing right now, it is hosted on Kajabi. I am currently on the $199 a month plan with Kajabi. Yes, I paid a year up front, but the point is the expense is still there. So give or take two grand a year. If that's going to put you under financial stress, you don't need Kajabi. Use something else. There's a lot of different options out there that are affordable, cheaper, and yes, they might not be as good, but you got to start somewhere. So this is the symbol of Kajabi, for example. This is the symbol of Podia. Podia is a less sophisticated version of Kajabi. And I started with Podia and it worked just fine when I got started. Now I wanted to build something bigger, more robust, and therefore I went with Kajabi. So there is a lot of options. Don't worry about any of these options right now. We will discuss that in our phone call. You might recognize these logos. You might not. The marketing machine is what you need to consider. When it comes to getting customers, you got to think about who is your ideal customer? How do you want to attract them? How do you want to engage with them? How do you want them to consume your content so that you can build their relationship and build their trust to the point where they become a customer? You might want to do that with blogging. You might want to do that with email marketing. You might want to give them a lead magnet, some sort of a freebie. Now, that freebie could be a video. It could be a webinar. It could be a free PDF or a cheat sheet. You got to think about what is that going to be? Obviously, you need some sort of a landing page somewhere where when somebody lands on your page, and they want to seek, they want your freebie, they need a place to put their name and email address to be able to, for you to build your email list. So that's needed as well. Payment integration, you got to obviously have a place where they can pay you, whether it's PayPal as an example, that's an easy way. But Stripe is another one where you can collect a credit card as well. You also, in some cases, you might want to have a calendar. So for example, if you give somebody a freebie, a lead magnet, I always like to have on the thank you page a appointment option so they can actually book a time to talk to you. Because I find that when I talk to people, that is the fastest path to move people from stranger over to becoming a customer is through a phone conversation on Zoom. So having a calendar, that could be also an option. Messenger marketing, sometimes you might want to automate your marketing through Messenger. That's another option to actually have a marketing machine. And of course, there is the aspect of a CRM, customer relationship management system, or some sort of tracking of the sales process or your sales pipeline. So you keep track of the people you've spoken to, what did you speak about, when did you speak about it, and when do you need to follow up to potentially convert them into a sale. And then as part of the marketing machine, you also got to consider the software having the options of building different pages that sells more when they are checking out. So, you know, when you go and buy something and then you get a, a link or a button that says, 
tick here to get this extra VIP support or whatever, and that's an upsell. So a software that takes care of that stuff, that's also important. Now realize that some of this stuff you don't really need, so it can get really complicated. And that's why I am wanting to do this consultation with you one-on-one, -on -one, because I want to simplify the process. These are just options to consider. And truth be told, we will probably simplify it to the basic, what do you need to just get started? Now, once you got a customer, you got to consider how do you want to deliver the content? So there could be a professional video hosting, and that's an important aspect because if you're delivering an online course, then having a video that's hosted on YouTube, it means that it's easily pirated, easily stolen, doesn't look very professional. So you want to have professional video hosting. There is software that you can buy that does video hosting independently, or there are software tools that actually include the video hosting as part of it. So for example, Kajabi, which is the software I'm using for this video, is in partnership with another video hosting company. And therefore the video hosting is already included as part of my Kajabi plan. So it just depends what software you use. We, we can discuss that in more detail. Community is another aspect. You can see that below this video, there's an option for you to leave comments. Okay, that is currently, or at the time of recording at least, that is the community aspect. I probably have a Facebook group as well and so on. So it just depends on how you want to deliver the service to your audience, basically. And the last thing, in terms of pricing, I want to cover one other thing, and it is not just your budget, but think about your pricing. What it is that you want to sell? What are the products you want to sell? What is the price point that you want it to be? And if you can figure out those things, that will make a difference because your budget can be somewhat of a limiting mindset because you're thinking, oh, well, I can't afford it. Therefore, I shouldn't pay for something, but I should pay. And yes, it's true. You shouldn't put yourself under financial stress, but sometimes you really just got to figure out your pricing and your offer so you can start making money rapidly and then get started with whatever software is the right one for you. As an example, if I was to get started all over again from the very beginning, I probably, if I had to really make a choice, I would probably focus on just getting clients right off the gate and making maybe two or three grand in profit and then pay Kajabi upfront and just get it out of the system and get it paid off, okay? And pay the year upfront. And then I've got 12 months to not worry about payment plans or anything like that and not be under stress because I've made the money already to pay for this. That's how I would do it if I was just getting started again. But, you know, you gotta also have the confidence that you can make that $2,000 as well. So, you know, it depends on where you are in your online entrepreneurial career as to where you're at, but we can discuss your individual situation when we actually speak. And in some cases, Kajabi may not be the right one for you. I don't want to make this a pitch about Kajabi. There could be other tools which are uh, better for your individual circumstances, and we can discuss this in more details. But below this video, somewhere around this video, you will see a link for you to uh, book a call with me. I will have a bunch of questions, some sort of a survey, so I can get a bit of an idea on your marketing machine, your content delivery, and your pricing and budget. And just so you know, even if you have a budget, it doesn't mean you need to spend that budget. I just want to know what do we need to work with? What is the situation that you're in so we can give you the right solution to where you're at? Hope that helps. So map these things out to the best of your ability, book a call, and I look forward to speaking with you.